Hello and welcome to Desert Rat Fiber Arts. I'm Desert Rat, but you can call me Lloyd. Okay, today we're going to continue our 2023 fiber study. And this time through, we're going to be taking a look at Targi. Oh, Targi, I know, is a popular uh, breed that is spun. I don't think I've ever spun it myself, so I'm looking forward to it. So, uh, the breed origins from the USA, 21 to 25 microns. Average staple length is 75 to 120 millimeters, 3 to 5 inches. And again, this I purchased this from Hearthside Fibers on Etsy. Uh, I am not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Um, I bought them for this purpose of doing this um, fleece study. And uh, so my opinions are my own. <laughs> of course, feel free to comment below, you know, if you spun this before or if you purchased from Hearthside Fibers and... Uh, what you think of uh, th this particular fiber, I would say. Anyways, on with the show. <laughs> so, we're going to be taking a look at the Targi in the Field Guide to Fleece. Here is a picture of the sheep itself. And um, it says here, origins from the United States, western United States. Uh, fleece weights is 10 to 22 pounds. Wow, that's a big, that's a big fleece. Or four and a half to 10 kilograms. Uh, staple length is three inches to five inches, so eight to 13 centimeters. Fiber diameters is 21 to 28 microns. The natural colors are white. These all around meat and fleece targi resulted from breeding Rambouillet rams to Corydale and Lincoln Rambouillet ewes. The end result for wool aficionados is delightfully fine and versatile fiber. Okay, the Targi was bred to thrive in range and farm environments of the western United States. Its fleece is soft and fine, but also lively and supple, making a good choice for when you want a touch of luxury in a dependable, everyday garment. The breed's dense, uniform matte locks are blocky with occasionally slightly pointed tips and a whole lot of crimp. Depending on length, the fleece can be combed or carded. You can also spin from the lock, flicked or not, although the fiber's fineness can make these approaches challenging. Use fine carding cloth or on hand carders or a drum carder and handle gently to avoid producing neps. A light touch and spinning will keep the fibers flowing smoothly. Uh, affects the dyes. Targi takes dye colors well. Best uses are lofty elastic Targi yarns are wonderful for making soft, cozy, resilient textiles that feel indulgent yet wear well. The wool will felt. Okay, so let's take a look at the actual fiber itself. A little plastic bag aside my card here um and this is what we got here it, it is very soft uh let's pull off a staple length here and here so get my measuring stick here ruler and we're going to measure it out to about four and a half inches roughly so, uh, decent staple length, uh, soft fiber. Um, so I'm gonna get my wheel set up and we'll get to spinning this and see how it turns out.
Okay, so next day, the yarn has been wet finished and hung up to dry, and here we go. We got about 46 yards out of this. Um, chain plied, uh, and still bulky weight, about seven wraps per inch. This yarn is stretchy and squishy and soft. It's everything you would want out of a good wool. So, uh, yeah, Targi is now one of my favorites to work with. Um, it did plump up quite a bit after uh, it was wet finished. Um, I did have a little issue with getting started with it, but once I figured out the fiber and, and how to get it going, it was just me. Um, it drafted beautifully. It plied beautifully. I did have one section that drifted apart on me, but that was just me not having an, uh, enough twist in that one section. Um, other than that, I had absolutely no issues with a spinning this yarn. And I think it would be absolutely joyful to make something with this. It's a it's a very nice yarn. It'd make a lovely hat, scarf, sweater, whatever. So tell me, have you ever spun Targi? Have you ever knit or crochet with it or weave or anything with it? What are your thoughts on it? So that's it for the Targi. And next time we're going to be taking a look at North Ronald's A which uh, comes from um, Scotland and o Orkney Islands. Um, never worked with it before. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, looking forward to trying that out. So that's it. So until next time, this is Desert Rat. Happy crafting. <laughs>